First, I want to show you the multi-monitor system that we have in our car. I have this saturation measurement uh, device, which measures both the pulse and the saturation of oxygen in the blood of the patient. If I want to do a more thorough analysis of the patient's uh, heart rate, I can use an ECG, both a three-channel and a 12-channel. After I've, I've finished with that, I usually go on to using the blood pressure of the patients. And also I have the opportunity to, to measure the temperature of the patient for in case of hypothermia. Alongside of all of that, I also have the opportunity to measure the CO2 levels of the patient as well. In case of a, a cardiac arrest, I also have a defibrillator set and I, as I can use this as an EOD. This is a vital part of what we do in the ambulance. The next item I will show you is the fire and burn unit that we have in the ambulance. This is for patients that have been exposed to fire and heat. What we have here is some uh, water that we use to rinse and cool down the patient's uh, area of burn. We have some uh, burn gel for also cooling down and pain relief for the area that has been uh, exposed both in large, uh, larger units and smaller units. Alongside of that, we have some, we can wet and bandage the, the patient's area of uh, exposure. And we can also wrap that in both with tape and some more wrapping area. The next item we have in the ambulance is the tactical unit. This is for more of trauma patients that has been either stabbed, shot or are very high energy wounds. What we have in this unit is um, a trauma bandage, which is very useful for stopping large bleeds. We have a chest seal for penetrating damages to the chest. We have a, a tunicare for also larger bleedings. And uh, other than that, we have some more bandages for stopping more larger bleeds and wounds for the patients. Uh, the next bag we are going to show you is our oxygen bag. In Inside this one, we have a lot of equipment. First of all, we have medical oxygen. We have some airways uh, kit for kids and for adults in form of uh, different kinds of masks with and without uh, reservoir. We have ventilation bag with uh, different kinds of uh, sizes uh, with masks. At least we have some eye gels in various sizes from adults to kids. And sometimes we have doctors in the car, so we have more advanced equipment that we don't use, but we have it in our bag, that the doctor don't have to take everything with him from his own car. Uh, the last unit we are going to see is the main, our main unit. Inside here we have everything we need to diagnose and to treat our patients. On this side of the bag we have uh, the equipment to diagnose the patient. So we have equipment for uh, measuring the blood sugar, the saturation and to check the temperature. And we have some ice package uh, in here as well in case of overheating patients. On this side, we have uh, equipment that we can use to, to treat. So we have uh, to give a bolus and we have some needles and different kinds of dressings. We also have equipment for hypothermia. And in this uh, red unit, we have more stuff to treat bigger bleedings. And when technology shuts down, we also have the possibility to take uh, manual blood pressure. We have uh, more devices with uh, needles and burn gels in case we are far away from the, from, from the car. So this is uh, our main unit. Inside the cabin, we have uh, some more equipment uh, like uh, helmets and floating devices. We have some bird uh, uh, sets and all the things that we need to diagnose and treat the patients. So we're going to take you for a little tour right now. Uh, in the back of the ambulance, we have some more equipment. We have uh, a stair chair to help us to get patients up and down from stairs or 
uh, places where they are not so easy to, to, to lift from. We also have uh, different vacuum splints and evacuation equipment. We also have some uh, uh, samplings for our patients and different devices to uh, strap them on our backboard. We also have uh, different sizes of uh, neck collars also in, in this area. Uh, on the side door of this ambulance, we have our oxygen backpack. Uh, we also have more oxygen, which is stationary in the car at all times. We have uh, a suction device. We have uh, equipment for uh, triage. We have two rescue ropes. We also have a saga splint for uh, bigger uh, bone fractures and uh, a hypothermia bag for very cold patients that we can wrap, wrap in and, and uh, keep warm. In front of the ambulance, we have radio communication with the dispatcher at all time. We also have this screen over here. It uh, works like a GPS, but also it's the screen that we get all the, the emergency calls uh, from the dispatcher on. Now that you have seen the equipment in our car, uh, you would probably like to see more about our service. And you can click on this video over here.